An amazing camera, great specs and impressive performance, the Google Pixel 6 Pro has been my daily driver for around 2 weeks now. But that doesn't really matter right now, let's see how it performs in a day of my life. Today I'm planning to head up to the office, so my day starts with the morning routine. I wake up, charge my phone to make sure it's 100% and I have my breakfast and get ready to go to the train station. It takes me around 20 minutes to walk to the train station, but I usually use the Z-Wing scooter rental service to scoot down to the station. If you haven't checked out my video review on the Z-Wing scooters, check them out, I'll link them up above. Uh, the scooter ride actually narrows the journey to around 7 minutes, which is pretty cool. When I arrive at the train station, I scan my train ticket, which I store inside of the Google Pay wallet, and I later use Google Pay to buy a coffee whilst waiting for the train to arrive. Whilst I drink my coffee, I listen to audiobooks from my Sony WF-1000XM3s, which I picked up recently at half price and can't recommend them enough. I'm currently listening to Life Pass by Payal Kadakia, the founder of ClassPass. On the train, I continue to listen to audiobooks while I browse my Twitter and catch up with my emails, especially the one from Morning Brew, which is possibly the best newsletter out there. It summarizes the latest news in a fun and easy to read format and allows you to earn points which you can redeem for merch. I'm not really sponsoring Morning Brew, although I would like to get sponsored by them one day. I'm just genuinely recommending it as something I find useful and pretty cool. After arriving in the office, I check my battery life to see how much it's gone down since I fully charged it this morning. This is how much the battery percentage went down since I last charged it this morning, and I think that it's pretty good considering the fact that I was listening to audiobooks, recording footage, and even doing some heavy tasks. I spent the morning working, so I practically didn't have a chance to use my phone. As I was working, my phone informed me of a update that's available, so I decided to install it. For this, I decided to plug in my phone so that it's charged whilst it updates, uh, simply because I didn't want it to die during the actual update. During my break, I used the phone to check my Twitter feed. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter if you don't already. I then went to my local Tesco to get a meal deal. I used Google Pay to scan my club card and to pay for this high class meal. I then went on a walk before heading back to the office to carry on working. During my walk, I used Google Keep to note down an idea I had for my blog. There, I tend to keep track of all my ideas in Google Keep. It's nearly time to catch my train home, and this is my battery percentage. I use the train line app to check the status of my train before I head off to the station. When I get on the train home, I tend to put my headphones on and watch some YouTube videos from my favorite creators. One of the benefits of having a larger screen is the fact that it's great for watching videos. As the train hit the British countryside, I soon moved on to listening to my downloaded music, uh, which I download via Apple Music. The signal is usually good, but when you're traveling through tunnels and valleys, it does cut out quite a lot. And that's even when I connect to the train Wi-Fi, it's just the area that the train goes through, I guess. Okay, let's start with a sip of some much needed coffee. Amazing. So hopefully you've enjoyed a day of my life. Um, but nevertheless, the phone itself, the star of the show, uh, 
did pretty well, I guess. I mean, I've used this phone for a good few weeks now. Uh, it's got to be about two or three weeks, and I am in love with it. Yes, there are a few issues. I mean, at the minute, the phone seems to be crashing in the camera app, which can be pretty annoying. Um, which is one of the reasons you saw me do an update. I was hoping that the update will have a fix for it. But obviously, unfortunately, it didn't. But nevertheless, it seems to have quietened down recently. Obviously, the main selling point of this phone is its camera. Or its cameras, to be exact. The cameras on this phone are absolutely amazing. It comes with a 50 megapixel wide lens, a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens, and a 48 megapixel telephoto lens. Now, in terms of the camera quality, I'm about to demonstrate the photos I've been taken with this phone. Uh, but just a few side notes before I do that. Uh, first side note is a huge amount of B-roll that I recorded for this video is actually shot on this phone. And what I've done is I've put a little label down below to show you which ones they are. Now, in the second thing I wanted to let you know is that I am no photographer in any means or form. So the photos will look amateur. But I think they still look pretty cool. So if there are any professional photographers out there, let me know what you think. But without further ado... Now just take a look at the night sky of the next two photos. The black has turned out absolutely beautiful on these. Okay, so for the next part of this video, I'm recording using the Google Pixel 6 Pro. I'm not using the mic though, I've got one of these weird mics. Overall, I think that this is a pretty brilliant phone. I mean, in terms of uh, performance, it performs really well. Um, I haven't really had a chance to play a great deal of games. I'm not really a mobile gamer, to be fair. Um, but I have tried playing Minecraft on it, and but I have tried playing Minecraft on there, and I have tried playing GTA San Andreas on there, and it worked pretty well. But then again, I'm not a huge fan of the mobile phone games these days anyway. Now, in terms of battery performance, I think it's pretty good actually. It's definitely lasted a lot longer than other phones I've had in the past. And I think it's a huge improvement to the Pixel 5. In terms of what you actually get in the box, you don't get a charger. So I didn't have a 30 watt charger, so I went out and bought one. So looking on Amazon, the 30 watt chargers were roughly priced exactly the same as the original. So I went out and I bought the original. I'm on, I'm in the UK, so I have this sort of charging plug uh, for UK plugs. That's what it looks like. You got your Google logo there, which you didn't have on the, uh, which interesting fact you didn't have on the previous versions of the Pixel. So it's nice to see that. There, but to be fair, you are paying extra for a charging plug, so they might as well add it to make people aware that this is Google. Um, but yeah, the box itself doesn't come with anything else other than a USB C cable and some paperwork. And most importantly of all, and I'm extremely disappointed with this, it doesn't come with a Team Pixel sticker. The pin. Ah, now this is something new. No idea they did this. Is the camera focusing? So these are two stickers, Team Pixel. Why did you do that, Google? They were so cool. I, I love the idea of you know tagging Team Pixel in my posts just to say that I've used a Google Pixel. I think that was actually a really good marketing idea. I think it was pretty cool. Please, please bring it back. <laughs> but anyway, I, I. But anyway, to summarize this video, I really, really like this phone. Um, not only is the camera great, the performance is great, it's a great all-round phone, it's a great premium phone and most importantly of all it's a great phone for me. Now I picked up this phone at a pretty cool deal. I recently switched to Android uh, after being an Apple user for quite some time and 
the Google Pixel Pro 6 was a great choice. Now I have made a video about my switch to Android and I will link it up above for you if you want to check that out and it will also be linked down below for you. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping that you like this new type of video. I'm hoping to make more of these uh, because it shows the product as I would use them and as most likely you would use them. I took it with me on one of my days uh, to work. But yeah, let me know in the comments whether you like this new type of video. I'm constantly trying new things uh, to grow this community. So any feedback, even if it's bad, is greatly appreciated. And yeah, I'll be making a much more I'll be making a much more de go away fly. I'll be making a much more detailed review um, in the next few months. Now over the next few weeks I will be making more Google Pixel footage. So I'm planning to do a what's on my phone video, I'm planning to do videos featuring some of their best features and at the end of it all I will do a full video review of this phone. Uh, but that will take a few months. Now to summarize the title, will I buy a Pixel 6 Pro in 2022? I definitely would. It's still a really good phone. I know the S22 is out now. Uh, I haven't had a chance to use it for that matter either. But I think the Pixel is a great choice uh, for people like me who demand a great camera, great video quality and general performance. But yeah, that's it for this video. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more great content. Till next time.